1993, we were asked to design a fabric by Steelcase Corporation. We went to a mill and said, they said, well, listen, you guys, we know you're going to ask us what it's made out of. They said, how about cotton and PET? We said, does that make sense? Cotton is responsible for 23 percent of the world's pesticide use. It causes hydrological disasters and has never been associated with social fairness. PET is full of antioxidants, UV stabilizers, plasticizers, and uh, antimony residues from catalytic reactions. Uh, can it go back to soil? No. Can it go back to industry? No. So what if we designed at first an organic fabric? We went to a mill in Switzerland. They said, we're glad you're here because yesterday the trimmings of our bolts of cloth were declared hazardous material by the Swiss government. We can no longer bury or burn it in Switzerland. We have to ship it to Spain. And you realize you've hit the wall of the first industrial revolution when your trimming is declared hazardous waste, but your product can be sold. And so we said the filters of the future will be in our heads, not on the ends of pipes. And we went to 60 chemical companies and said, who wants to get rid of cancer, birth defects, genetic mutations, and disruption of our hormonal systems? And they all said no. So we went to Siba Geigy, the chairman. Alex Crower said, you're right, I'm, and I'm letting you in. And the joke in Basel was that they finally had let the hen into the fox house. <laughs> And we looked at 8,000 chemicals with these intellectual filters. We studied health hazards, allergies, bioaccumulations, worm toxicities, heavy metal content, persistence. 3M removed Scotchgard. Once we saw that our whales were stain proof, we realized this was not essential. <laughs> what we realized is that we have, they have to study our production processes. We have to know whether we're doing this or that. We have to be completely defined. And with those intellectual filters, we had to eliminate 7,962. The chemicals, we were left with 38. We did the entire fabric line with 38. It's won three gold medals. It's just been bought by the companies that, do, that does the aircraft seating because of this fabric is so safe, you can eat it. If you have, thanks. If you have a fiber deficiency, you can eat your chair. But what happened is quite delightful. When the Swiss uh, inspectors came to the mill to test the water coming out, they thought their equipment had broken. Because what we were now doing is taking the, mul the trimmings and making the mulch for the local garden club. In this case, waste equals food, strawberries. And what, we were, what, we, what happened is that the water coming out of the mill was as clean as or cleaner than the water coming in, which was Swiss drinking water. And I don't know how many of you have been in a textile mill, but if you can imagine being thirsty with an empty glass, and that's Swiss drinking water, and that's a dye vat, and a mordant bath, and a rinse, and a fire retardant, and you'd rather drink that. This means you can turn the pipe around. If you turn the pipe around because it's even cleaner, then guess what? When the inspectors come, there's nothing to inspect. Guess what? There's no regulations. This product is completely unregulated. There is nothing to regulate because we're not trying to kill anybody anymore.